Let me ask you a question, my dear fellow. Well, it's a comment more than a question. Well, let me tell you a story. Dr. Arrhenius, in 1920s... Sure, the famous Nobel Prize winner. Not Dr. Arrhenius, his son. No Nobel Prizes for ecologists. Arrhenius described one of the most consistent patterns in ecology. Larger islands contain more species than small islands. And this is true for any area. But why? Huh, I'm hungry. My medicine. 100 years later, young David García Callejas proposed and tested a clear hypothesis. Species, interactions and habitat heterogeneity may play a critical role. Imagine a prairie. Species arrive randomly. But look here. This red and this blue species compete fiercely. Red does not survive. And this red one? Well, orange and red can coexist. This is because they reproduce at similar rates. White, orange and red can also coexist in triplets, because white grows in early spring and the other two later on, so they use different niches. But yellow, yellow always lose. Let's consider this other prairie. It has salty spots and non-salty spots. Here, blue still wins in the non-salty spots. But red wins in the other situations. Hence, heterogeneity can increase biodiversity at larger areas. Still, yellows keeps losing. By contrasting these two hypotheses using data, they found that most combinations can coexist locally and larger areas simply gave more opportunities to coexist. Hence, heterogeneity plays a minor role. Hey, and what about these yellow ones? Oh, those are transient species. They are here only because you keep adding those. Those are my favorites. <laughs>